today pretty much what we're looking at is further excavation for the new stream channel. They're digging into a pool right now. Typically our streams are, are made up of pools and then ripples. Um, and today they're completing excavating out the material for the pool. Right now the state of Kentucky has a hatchery at the base of Wolf Creek Dam. This flow coming into the hatchery is cold water, which enables the hatchery to raise trout. The water, once it goes through the hatchery, goes out into a public fishing access stream. Uh, it's commonly called the public fishing or riprap rip channel. It goes through there about 300 feet, goes through a culvert down into a ravine. The problem is, it, once it goes into the ravine, the, it turns left, goes back into the Cumberland, but the banks are so severely eroded that there's extremely large amounts of sediment that are sloughing off of these banks, ending up in the channel and then getting washed into the Cumberland River. The result is that it causes a great deal of uh, kind of a suffocating action for all the uh, organisms that live on the bottom of the river, such as in aquatic insects, and it just chokes out, creating a very poor water quality and poor habitat quality. And uh, with the Kentucky Wetland and Stream Mitigation Program, we have funds, or we had funds, that were available to restore streams, and we, we thought this is a, a perfect opportunity. So this is not going to be some little bitty stream. This is going no, to be sir. like something you might expect to see out west. Yes. And as we look behind us here, you may think, well, that's just some random rock they pushed out of the way. But everything here has purpose. We've got fisheries biologists that work for us that um, have specialized and done a tremendous amount of research on trout so that we could pull from their expertise to determine what size material do we need for these fish to have their life cycle, for them to lay their eggs and for those eggs to actually become viable and, 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 then, and then hatch. Everything within this is, has been thawed out. Everything from the trees and the type of structures in the pools, how deep the pools are, all the way up to the size of this material in our riffle here. How did you even come up with this? Uh, I've spent a lot of time on trout streams mm -hmm. and what I try to do is look and watch as to where the trout live, where they like to hold, and I try to recreate that in the channel in the stream. And everything I put in here is bits and pieces of different streams that I fished all over the place and so I just try to recreate what I see in nature and you built this you built the lunker bunker yes but as I see the beautiful clear water flowing down through here I know there's gonna be a hog sitting in there and just looking for something to snag on his way by just waiting for something to float by that he can just reach out there and grab don't have to work real hard for it and it's just gonna come right to me. And this is your intention. I mean, this is actual fish structure that's thought out in this whole process, but this is your a lunker, a bunker. Yes, sir. So when a fisherman comes down here and catches a fish, he can thank you for this particular spot. Yes, he can. To see this amount of work being done and this amount of thought, every little turn, every little uh, you know branch is well thought out. And I can't wait to see all this. This is, is truly a win-win. Uh, we've had tremendous partnership with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service here at the National Fish Hatchery. And this project could not have happened without their assistance and their guidance. And this project is being done in a way that, that part of the uh, corrective work in the project at Wolf Creek Dam, they're doing to repair the dam up there, uh, their contractors are working with our contractors so that we uh, that reduce the cost of this project and reduce the cost of their project and so it's a true win-win. If you get the state and two federal agencies working together, somebody must be doing something right. Mm -hmm. And so they're doing it right. And then we as the design build team get to come in and do the fun part after all the hard work's done. And we get to design and build a stream that wow. trout hopefully will spawn in, but we're very confident that they will live in. The fishermen will be able to enjoy fishing here. And I think it'll also be a great aquatic resource for other fish and amphibians that will be able to live through another extra mile of creek baby uh, adjacent to the Cumberland River. We have trout clubs that are excited about this. Local anglers are very excited about this. So uh, we're, we're really excited. Uh, and it's given us the opportunity to, to really focus on things that we wouldn't normally get to do, such as really good spawning habitat for the trout. We're hoping this will actually add some wild fish to the Cumberland tailwater fishery. 
But this is being designed with the fishermen in mind. Uh, let's keep trout in mind. Let's keep uh, fish and wildlife in mind. And let's take this down the valley and, and recreate uh, a true stream, natural stream conditions. And we're gonna have adjacent wetlands with it. And we're gonna do that in a way that provides good stable stream habitat. It's good for fish and wildlife. And it's in one of the areas where we have one of the best trout fisheries in the world. Oh, We've yeah. got a world-class trout oh, fishery yeah. here. You think about a 21 pound brown trout, and that's just one that's caught. If there's a 21 brown, a pound brown trout caught, what else might be in here and has the possibility and potential to be in here? I mean, that's New Zealand size brown that's trout. That's exactly right, that's exactly right. So here we go, I'm picturing this, I'm picturing the water coming through here. I'm, a, I'm picturing all these trees hanging over. Everything is so well thought out. Um, can I come down here and fish like close to the first day it's open? Yeah, I'll, I'll invite you. <laughs> I like this guy already. <laughs>